Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm just at the put knees and Addy looks very uneven there. Yeah, that's better. You move around because that looks a little bit better in the backdrop. Um, look at her dapple. She's looking so good at you. Yes, I'm talking about you. Am I talking about you? You've just had come in, had a bit of food and then have had a proper little pamper and got her all spruced up. I can't lie i feel like i should have worn a different top this is the top that i was planning on wearing but i did roll my sleeves up but i didn't want to get them dirty um but i have got other options available for me today so we shall see but we are off for a photo shoot with tina and banksy and with john who we've been having some jumping lessons with recently so we are meeting him down at pendarvis and also holly which i know that you guys will all know who she is as well because she is taking the photos today because Tina and I are joining SEIB. We are becoming an ambassador for SEIB insurance brokers, which is, I'm going to be honest, feels like a little pinch me moment to know that you've worked with a brand for, or you've been with the brand for so many years. I have actually been a customer. I was trying to figure out exactly how many years it was, but it is definitely over 10. It started, I took out my first policy with them with Miss Lola and we did have to make a few claims but they just made it so anytime that anything happens to the horse it is a stressful time isn't it unfortunately these things do happen and you can try and avoid them as best you can but unfortunately accidents do happen like Lola trying to jump a five five gate um which didn't end very well but they just take one less stress out of it because they are so easy to deal with anytime that I've ever had any questions when I was getting Addy set up for her policy. Spritey is now on their veteran policy because of her age. And this is why we are being brought on board to help share with you guys the new updated policies that they have to offer. There is literally a policy out there now for every kind of horse, every individual and every budget. So classic core and veteran policies. They have been massively updated after listening to their customers and they are actually celebrating 60 years this year which is incredible um so i want to say like happy anniversary to them so 60 years worth of experience guys they know what they're talking about and like i say it always it's just one of those things that i now don't worry about because i know how easy and friendly they are to approach and phone up like i say if i've got any questions or anything like that they are always there to help me but Addy is on the classic policy and then Spritey, like I say, is on the veteran. So we are going down. We have been very kindly sent some fabulous branded clothing and items, some numbers, a lovely rug, which I haven't dared take out of the packaging yet. I can't lie. Um, wanted to make sure that it all remained lovely and clean for today. So it's just giving Addy making sure that she is photo shoot ready. Are you photo shoot ready? Yeah. And we've also got a lesson because it is easier to get like the natural shots whilst doing things. Does that make sense? That sounds really bad, doesn't it? But you know what I mean? Like whilst we're having a lesson, Holly will be there being able to get us photos and also we'll have the instruction from John, which will be really nice as well. So looking forward to that. Everything is loaded up, but I've just noticed that I have missed my breastplate. So let's grab that one that can go on my arm whilst I walk Addy up. So we are all good to go. It's split over a couple of days. We're doing the lesson today, first of all, with Addy and Banksy. They're sharing a lesson, our first shared lesson with John, which is exciting. Um, and then... We're going to take the ponies hacking and that's where Spritey will be involved because she can uh, have some nice hacking shots. She has been bathed, which I'm quite surprised. She's looking filthy. Have you had a good roll? She's been bathed because she's ready to be clipped, aren't you? Yes, she's gone so, so woolly, but I've allowed her to just go woolly. So yeah, she's being clipped, hopefully this afternoon, depending on what time we get back. And then Addy is also going to be clipped this week, but I didn't want her to be fully freshly clipped before today if that makes sense well yeah it might have been entertaining for you guys um but i just feel like actually she's got a lovely coat there at the minute it's super shiny daffily looking good so we shall leave her till the end of the week before victim which is now scarily getting rather close so we have arrived at Penn Darvis for our jump lesson. So first thing first is that we've just had some photos whilst we're unloading them from the trailers and from the lorry. But I haven't actually said hello yet. So we've got, got two riders. 
and the photographer. <laughs> so it's just getting some shots of the lovely branded kit that I said that we have been very fortunate to sent. They are looking very smart. You're going navy, I might go white then. Okay, we'll go opposites. <laughs> we'll go opposites, yeah. I did bring both because I wasn't quite yes, sure and yeah. I'm quite impressed. I was worried that we're going to both be in the same breeches but we're not. I've gone grey, you've gone beige. We did kind or of that conversation. Did we? In a distant memory. Distant memory, yes. <laughs> I did know that we had both been thinking about that, but no. We're looking good, we're looking smart. No, I think we had the conversation but didn't actually decide who was wearing what. What? So no, we, we just knew what colours it was going to be. <laughs> but I wore mine yesterday, those ones, which I was glad that I had them on yesterday for the beach. Yeah, I wish I'd um. had uh, crappy bums on, on the beach yesterday <laughs> with all the... Bareback riding on our shiny horses. Yes, it was, uh, yeah, good fun. There will be a couple of vlogs out. Tina's got a vlog with a little few snippets in it, and then Meg was also making a full vlog of that, so that'll be Meg's over will be on the there. The somatic one. The somatic one, yeah. <laughs> the, oh, the footage is beautiful. Um, we were so lucky with the weather. Well, we're lucky today as well. We are, because this is actually oh, really good. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually perfect weather for photos, yeah, isn't it? Because amazing. it's not too glary, and it's, yeah. yeah, it's nice. But they've done loads of work down here at Ben Davis as well. Look at that in the middle. I've seen that they had their, their competition with that on this yesterday. Sorry, I thought I was going to get in the way. Here we go, right. I'll go get my pony. But John is up there waiting for us. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get much footage of us. I think it's going to be a bit old school and we're going to have to get our phones out and film each other on our phones because we haven't got anybody on the ground and obviously Holly is getting all the, the brand shots. Should we get your saddle on you? You're a good girl. You're looking so shiny. So shiny. <laughs> Right, camera down, get them tacked up and get in for our lesson. And we're now on board. We just said as we were walking up to the arena, this is actually very good prep. So what I was going on to say after being at the beach yesterday, yeah, we didn't go mental like that, but we did have a few canters, admittedly. Nothing like a five minute cross country course, all the roads and tracks and steep chase that we will be doing when we are at the Bicton three day in a couple of weeks. But this is perfect because they've now had a bit of a canter and now we're going to come in and they've got to respect and be careful over the coloured poles, which is exactly what they've got to do when they are going to be at Bigden. Go out and do all that cross country. And it's very different for us and for them because obviously we usually show jump before cross country. So it is a bit different. So this is perfect prep for them.
pues. <laughs> nice. Very good. Beautiful. Addy, that's it. Stay. Don't <laughs> you're a dog. Behind the scenes on how to get. <laughs> what is it, Banks? That's a fun looking horsey. <laughs> oh, the way to get ears forward if you ever are struggling. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube horse noises. <laughs> Works like a charm. <laughs> We're going to call them back in a minute. <laughs> Concentration face for a moment then. <laughs> you ponies have been very, very good, haven't you? Hi. Very good. Short and sweet session. Obviously, like I said, we did go to the beach yesterday and it is warm. I mean, what is going on for October? I mean, although if this stays for Victor, I will be happy. Exactly. I said that yesterday. Ne <laughs> never have I been to Victor and, and it, Yeah, and had sunshine. I think we've had a day, but off often it's uh, torrential rain so hopefully it does remain around for them which is in a couple of weeks so this has been perfect for them they were all careful which yeah, i thought I was good and put them up. as much as you wouldn't normally have done it the next day it's good practice for having done rose track steeplechase and then you've got to behave <laughs> and exactly. jump the next day haven't you so, exactly yeah, we literally did like half a round and then a full round and a full round and yeah 20 minutes in. They were perfect. They were good. And together they were good as girls. Very good together, yes. They've never very, very each other. <laughs> yeah, let's see about that in the loading. But no, they were good. But they're both in desperate need of a cliff, aren't they? Yes, they are indeed. So That's going to be happening this week, isn't it, ponies? Can we get you some sure. water, shall we? Yeah, let's go get them washed off. And that's a wrap. I actually think that we've been very efficient. Thank you, Holly, because you've probably made us efficient of saying, this is what we need. We need to get this. We need to get that. But very good ponies. Like I said, short and sweet lesson. I'm going to leave this roll on because we are going to get together another afternoon this week. Fingers crossed weather stays like this. I think it's meant to. And we're going to go out hacking and get Spritey involved. She's actually going to get clipped for it now because she is not photo worthy at this moment in time. Um, she is. Oh, yeah, she is. But yeah, she's just. Yeah, she's woolly mammoth. She's 
I had her pre-clip bath and yeah, so go home, get her clipped and then see you ladies later on in this week. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. wanted to very quickly jump in between the two different shoots to share some exciting news that Tina and I are attending Your Horse Live this year. So it's running from the 10th to the 12th of November and I'm super excited. I've been quite a few years ago and I loved it and I can't wait to be back there again. They've got some fantastic entertainment, brilliant demos and an amazing shopping village. So yeah, get ready to spend my pennies, buy the horses their Christmas presents. <laughs> but we will be also holding a meet and greet whilst we're there on the SEIB stand on Saturday at the 11th of November. SEIB stand is 1.30 and our meet and greet is running in the afternoon 1.30 to 2.30. So if you are there on that Saturday, it would be lovely to meet you. So do come over to the SEIB stand and say hi. And then there is also a competition currently running over on Instagram where you can win a pair of tickets for Your Horse Live for yourself and for your bestie. So you've got to be in it to win it and you've also got to be quite quick because the closing date for this competition is the 27th of October at midnight. So get yourself over there. I will pop the link in the description down below that will take you straight to the Instagram post where it's got all the details on how you can enter. But as I say, got to be in it to win it and hopefully we will see you there. But anyways, I will allow the vlog now to continue on. And we are a week later, back on the ponies, and Spitey's here. Like oh, the yeah, I know, it's completely different. I'm just hoping it's not gonna absolutely tip it down. Yeah, those nice bright photos that we were after. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but sometimes like moody kind of yeah. photos look good as well. Yeah. Exactly, very, very true. true. And apologies for five minutes. You're just uh, yes. so I'm. I'm on the trusty, trusted pony. Touch wood. Let's not tempo with all the camera gear. Yes, but it has been an eventful start to this uh, to this ride. So we were, we boxed the ponies down, and we were gonna. Well, we've met down near Poldice Valley, which I think has been featured on vlogs before. I was on my way, and all of a sudden, with both ponies, and my car made a rather horrible sound, and I was just like, that doesn't sound good, and not like. You think it's staged? <laughs> I'm pretending, yeah. I wish I was pretending. <laughs> um, it, was a little, it was a little bit stressful. Yes, I need it for later on this week. Um, but yeah, it turns out, so my dad came and rescued me because I was very close to home, thankfully. So I didn't need to use the breakdown cover that I've got with SEIB. Oh, I thought we could see it then, but the high vis is covering up on the back of Tina's jacket. Um, yeah, we were close to home, so Dad came out and put the bonnet and it's part of my belt that was like off and I knew there was something like clanking as it was going around and it was because when I was stationary it didn't sound good either. But anyways, Dad then very kindly helped me unload the ponies. I held the ponies, he swapped vehicles on the trailer and I've been able to use his car to drive down here. But that isn't where the saga finishes. <laughs> Go whichever way you like. I'm going straight back to choose straight. Um, yeah, so the next part of the saga is I went to close the window, lock up the car, and couldn't put the ignition on. No key detected. It's only been left in Dad's pocket. So I've just given him the phone call, and Mum's going to drop it down to me when we're on the way back. So, yeah, anyways, that's enough now. We're here. We're all in one piece. Um, we'll sort the car key situation out when we get back. But now to go off. Enjoy the ponies, 
and get some lovely packing shots for FUIP. I've seen the photos from last week already and they are beautiful. Yeah, they are. I love them. <laughs> it's so good. So, so good. There is one particular one that is my favourite that doesn't involve me, but just my horse. <laughs> um, that was so, so beautiful. But yeah, right. We'll carry on. <laughs> it is oh it's a lovely it, yeah it's just the way that she's positioned and everything as well isn't it yeah love it anyways that's a lot of ramble from me but uh we'll now get to destination number one where we're gonna take some shots uh, very cornish isn't it very cornish <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mum. She dropped it down. <laughs> Ponies are loaded up. And we had right fun today. I feel like we went back like teenage years, yeah. pony club. Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? We had to play a little, little bit safe with the camera yeah. on board too, didn't trying we? To get, trying to get me off. You were quite <laughs> daring. You were quite daring. I was, I was impressed. She is quite daring. Yeah. I've been skiing with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was your fancy footwork that I was the most impressed with. And that gate was oh, coming toward you. And you're oh. like, no. The camera's fine, but my foot is not having yeah, it. Yeah. Yet. My leg but, yeah. is twisted. But no, it's been good. I'm excited to see the photos from this afternoon. Yeah. And the ponies enjoyed, enjoyed it too. Yeah, they? they did. They very much enjoyed it. It was actually, uh, Sprite was the worst one to be stood on trying to take photos yeah. than yeah. the six-year-old. Not that she'd go wild. I, she I know. We were up on us. <laughs> she just wanted a canter. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment down below and hit that all-important subscribe button if you don't already. And if you are looking for insurance for your horse or your trailer, then make sure that you check out SEIB and the wonderful team there will be able to help and guide you on whatever policy might suit you best. But until next time, I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!